The following video demonstrates the removal and installation of the two wire type of the airframe shutoff switch or AFSO switch found on the hydromechanical unit HMU installed on the CFM 56-7B engine mounted on the Boeing 737-NG aircraft. The three wire type of AFSO switch is obsolete as of February 2002 and should not be found installed in the HMU as the majority of the fleet have been modified to the two wire type AFSO switch per the CFM 56-7B service bulletin 730067 or the Honeywell service bulletin CHT1-73-0014. The demonstration was performed in a Honeywell repair and overhaul shop. The HMU was positioned to reflect the orientation when installed on wing. The sequence reflects the instructions found in the component maintenance manual 73-21-79 and the Boeing aircraft document 737-600-700-800-800-800. D633A101, task 73-21-09-000-801-F00, and task 73-21-09-400-801-F00. Please refer to the CFMI Service Bulletin 73-0061 or Honeywell Service Bulletin CHT1-73-0011 for consumables, tooling list, and required torques. Remove the safety cable from the two upper right hand corner screws of the electrical cover. Loosen all the bolts holding the electrical cover to the HMU. Remove all the bolts holding the electrical cover to the HMU. Take note of where the two bolts with safety cable holes are installed. Hold the electrical cover when removing the last two bolts. Remove the cable ties from the wire retention bracket. Remove the wire retention bracket. Remove the cable tie on the Teflon wrap around the bundled wires. Unwrap the Teflon wrap just enough to expose the AFSO switch wires.
The AME has the option to remove the AFSO switch electrical connector prior to removal of the individual wires from the connector or to leave the electrical connector installed and remove the individual wires from the electrical connector through the electrical cavity, as seen in the video. Remove the two pins from the AFSO switch electrical connector using the insert extract tool. Remove the two screws holding the AFSO switch. Remove the AFSO switch the switch may come out easily by simply pulling on the wires going into the switch. Note the body cavity notch in the AFSO switch cavity in the HMU housing that lines up with the locating rib on the removed AFSO switch. This will be used to properly install the new AFSO switch. Note that the locating rib on the new AFSO switch lines up with the body cavity notch in the AFSO switch cavity in the HMU housing. Misalignment of the locating rib will prevent proper installation of the AFSO switch. Install the new ASO switch with the two retaining screws and washers. Torque the two retaining screws. Insert the two contact pins into their proper numbered holes using the insert extract tool. The white wire goes into the number one location. The red wire goes into the number three location. The number two location has a red blanking plug that was not removed. The use of a pin push tool ensures that the pins are properly locked in place. Test the pin continuity and resistance with an ohmmeter. Pin one to two is open circuit. Pin two to three is open circuit. Pin one to three resistance is zero to 0.5 ohms. Pin two to case resistance is 500 kiloohms to infinity. Pin three to case resistance is 500 kiloohms to infinity. Rewrap the Teflon wrap around the previously exposed wire bundle. The Teflon wrap is used to prevent wire chafing.
install a new cable tie to hold the Teflon wrap in place on the wire bundle. Make sure that the cable tie head will not interfere with the installation of the wire retention bracket. The use of a Panduit installation tool will ensure proper tension of the cable tie. Install the wire retention bracket. Temporarily install two screws to hold the wire retention bracket in place, making it easier to secure the wires to the retention bracket with cable ties. Secure the wire retention bracket to the housing by snugging down the two screws, making sure that no wires are pinched between the bracket and the housing. The wire retention bracket has notches that are used to locate the majority of the cable ties. The cable tie that holds the wires from the ASO switch uses a hole in the wire retention bracket. Two sizes of cable ties are used to secure the wires to the wire retention bracket. One cable tie holding the Teflon wrapped wire bundle does not have a corresponding notch. Ensure that the cable tie head does not protrude past the wire retention bracket before use of the Panduit installation tool so that the table tie does not interfere with the installation of the electrical cover. Remove the two screws that were previously temporarily installed. Place the electrical cover and wire retention bracket against the HMU housing and ensure they are flush against the housing with no pinched wires. Install the two screws with safety cable holes at the two screw holes just below the screw hole at the top right of the electrical cover. Draw all the screws down until they almost touch the electrical cover. Torque down all the screws to their proper values, including the running torque.
Install safety cable and seal through the two screws with safety cable holes. Complete the task per the on-wing requirements and sign off. <laughs>